Hey, welcome to Church at Home. I'm Haley and I'm so excited you're watching today as we learn all about what the Bible says about feelings. We all feel happy, embarrassed, sad, disappointed, and even angry sometimes. And it's okay to have all those feelings. But it's what we do about those feelings that makes all the difference. That's why the one thing I want you to hear today is this. Talk to God about how you feel no matter what. No matter what you are feeling, know that you can go to God and share with Him exactly what's going on and how you feel about it. He already knows how you're feeling because He's always with you. Step by step and day by day, whether you make the right choice or the wrong choice, whether you feel angry or happy, He is always there. And He wants you to talk to Him because, believe it or not, He really cares about you. Let's sing out side by side and think about how amazing it is that God is with us no matter how we feel. Let's sing it together. We're gonna sing a song about how God is always by our side. Let's sing this out together. Step by step, day by day, you will lead me all the way. Every time I call your name, Jesus, Jesus, you're right there with So if you go left singing that out. No matter what happens or no matter how we feel, God is still there. His love is unfailing, which means His love doesn't stop. That's why we can talk to Him about what we feel no matter what. Today's Bible story is all about two people who had some feelings after they made a wrong choice and they even hid from God because they were afraid. Check this out. Stories of the Bible. Adam and Eve sin. This is Adam. Hey. And this is Eve. Hey. Who were the first people on earth. They lived in the Garden of Eden, which was a beautiful place that had everything they needed. Adam and Eve took care of the animals and could eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. This was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. 
and God told them not to eat from this tree. There were lots of animals in the garden, but the serpent was the most clever of all the wild animals God had made. Hmm. One day, he asked the woman, Hey Eve, did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of these trees in the garden? <laughs> no. Eve said that they were able to eat from all of the fruit trees except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. For God said, you must not eat or even touch it. If you do, you will die. No, that can't be. You won't die, said the serpent. God knows that as soon as you eat it, you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. <gasps> oh. The woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam and he ate it too. At that moment, their eyes were opened. Oh no! and they suddenly realized they weren't wearing clothes and were embarrassed. So they sewed fig leaves together to cover themselves. When the cool evening breezes were blowing, Adam and Eve heard God walking about in the garden. Hi! So they hid from God among the trees. Then God called to Adam, Where are you? Adam said, I heard you walking in the garden, so I hid. I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat from the tree I told you not to eat from? Adam said, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then God asked Eve, What have you done? The serpent tricked me, she replied. That's why I ate it. Then God punished the serpent by making it so he would crawl on his belly from then on. He told Eve that she would have great pain in her life. Then God said to Adam that because he listened to Eve and did not obey what God had told him to do, his life would be very difficult. He would have to work hard to get food to eat, God said, for you were made from dust, and to dust you will return. Then God made them clothing from the animals, but God knew that Adam and Eve could no longer live in the garden because of their sin, so he sent them away and closed up the garden. Adam and Eve chose to eat the fruit even though God told them not to. And then they hid because they were afraid. They became aware that they had made a wrong choice and disobeyed God. But we can't exactly hide from God, can we? He knew they had sinned and he talked with them about it. Even though there was a consequence for their sin, God still loved them. So when you do something wrong or when you feel embarrassed and want to hide, remember, you don't have to hide from God. You can talk to him about what you're feeling because he already knows and he loves you no matter what. Check out this Bible verse to learn more about God's love for you. The Lord is merciful and compassionate slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. Psalm 145, 8. I love how that verse reminds us that God's love never fails. That means no matter what we feel, even if we feel embarrassed because we did something wrong, we can talk to God about it. His love for us never stops. So let's sing out Psalm 145, 8 right now. Hey everyone, this is Psalm 145.8. This says that our Lord is merciful, compassionate, and slow to get angry. That is our God. Let's sing it out together. Ready? Let's go. Passionate 
That was great. Think about those words. Filled with unfailing love. That's our God. He is full of love that never stops. Even if we make a wrong choice and sin, even if we feel embarrassed or guilty, even if we feel anger or jealousy, He is merciful and compassionate. And He loves us no matter what feelings we have. Something that brings up some feelings in me is trying to learn a new skill. Feelings like anger, frustration, embarrassment when I don't get it right. Learning something new can be tough. So let's watch the Pro Skills crew deal with some of those feelings as they see who has the Pro Skills to succeed. Watch this. Hello, hello, and welcome to Pro Skills, where we will learn from the pros each week as we try and see who here has the pro skills it takes to succeed. I'm Kurt. I'm Nate. And I'm Nikki. And each week we're going to focus on a different skill and learn from the best of the best, all while learning some pretty awesome truths from God's Word, the Bible. And no matter what we face in the Pro Skills studio today, we're going to remember one very important thing. Talk to God about how you feel, no matter what. We are really going to need to keep that one thing in mind as we attempt today's pro skill. Are you ready to see what today's pro skill is? Let's do it. I was born ready. Today's pro skill is painting. So we are going to learn from the pro of all pros, this guy, Vincent Van Gogh. Wait, Kurt, that's not you? Well, I mean, we could be doppelgangers if I had some hair, I guess. Well, if I remember learning about Vincent Van Gogh in school. Uh, what painting did he do? Starry Night. So, we're gonna put 20 minutes on the clock and we're gonna recreate to the best of our abilities this iconic painting. Then, we'll reveal our creations to see who has the best pro skills. Okay, I take it back, I was not born ready. You got this, man, just channel your inner artist. You can do it, you can do it. All right, are we ready? In three, two, one, paint. Do you think it's okay if I'm painting on the easel a little bit? That's what easels are for, right? To get messy? What's an easel? That looks, that looks terrible. That looks really bad, yep. All right, guys, we're halfway there. How are you feeling about your stuff? Feel great. Uh, okay. I'm feeling not so good. Uh, not so good right now. I'm sure now. it's good, I'm sure it's good. All right, I don't know about this, guys, because what's the opposite of pro level? Because that's what I got over here. Oh, I'm sure it's not that bad, Nate. I mean, none of us are actually pro level. Honestly, I'm pretty embarrassed. I think I might keep this to myself. Uh, at least my mom will hang it on the fridge. She thinks everything I do is pro level. Shout out to my mama. Okay, brushes up, brushes up. Woo. Okay, raise your hand if you're actually feeling pro level. Uh, okay, hey, let's, let's do this. Let's all reveal them at the exact same time. Okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ooh, oh. Come on, Nate, it can't be that bad. 
I don't want you guys to see how bad it really is. Dude, we're all in this together. You don't have to hide it. Remember how Adam and Eve felt after they sinned and they disobeyed God? They were pretty embarrassed too, so they hid from God. Right, but they couldn't really hide from God because he knew what had happened and he knew exactly how they were feeling. So no matter what we're feeling, even if we're feeling embarrassed, we can go to God and talk about it with him because he knows what we feel. And you don't have to hide either, Nate. We know how you feel because we've all been embarrassed before. Really? Yeah, like one time I had to speak in front of my whole class for a school presentation and I just totally blanked and I forgot what I was gonna say and it, it was so embarrassing. Oh yeah, I've definitely been there. One time we were in line to go on a roller coaster and I was so nervous, I actually threw up in line. Like recently? Well, not that recently. But the point is, we've all had moments where we feel like we did something wrong or we were embarrassed. And no matter what we feel, we can talk about that with an adult who we trust and with God when we pray to him. You're right. And after talking about it, I feel so much better. Okay. I'll show you guys only if you promise not to laugh. Pinky, Pinky promise. promise. All right. Okay. No, me, it's great. You tried your best. Honestly, I've seen worse. I mean, it's not pro level, but none of us are. You know what? Showing you guys this picture and talking about it makes me feel less alone. And honestly, sometimes I just have to laugh about it because it's so bad. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna say that. Well, sometimes talking about it and even laughing about it once we're ready helps, right? Definitely, I mean, I'm not taking home any trophies today, but sometimes facing the problem head on and just talking about it, even if it feels like I messed up, it makes me feel so much better. So. Should we have a vote? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We each have three emojis, and we can place these emojis however we want. We can put all three on one picture, or we can spread them out, okay? okay? But the only rule is we can't vote for our own picture. Okay. All Are right. you ready? Yeah. Yep. Let's vote. All right, and the final tally tells us that today's pro level painter is Nikki! Yay, Nikki! I am honored to be today's pro, but I think the real win today is that we all walked away learning our one thing. Talk to God about what you feel no matter what. Exactly, and even if you've sinned or if you feel embarrassed or, or angry or anything else, you can talk to God no matter what because he already knows exactly how you're feeling. And if you've never made the choice to talk to God and join his family, then today can be that day. See, we all make wrong choices that separate us from God and these, these choices are called sin, just like we saw in today's story. And God doesn't like it when we sin. Sometimes there are even consequences for our sin. But the thing about consequences is they can help us learn what is right. And when we choose to learn from our sin and talk to God about it, then we've moved from what was wrong towards what is right. We're moving with God towards what is best for us. And the best thing God ever did was take care of our sin problem. He made a way for us to be with him again through his son, Jesus. So when you tell God you sinned and that you believe in his son Jesus and ask him to take your sins away, then you can be in his family and spend forever with him in heaven one day. A place where we won't feel shame or guilt or embarrassment. That's amazing. And hey, you can talk to a parent or an adult who loves Jesus at church about any questions that you have. And we'll see you next time on Bro, Bro Skills. Skills. I loved how even though Nate felt a little embarrassed to show his picture, the rest of the crew still encouraged him that he could show them his picture. They reminded us that even when we feel embarrassed or we've made a wrong choice, we can still talk to God about how we're feeling and the choice we made. We can pray to God and tell him how we feel and we can also ask him for forgiveness and to help us make the right choice next time. We don't have to feel guilty or hide. Because of Jesus, all of our sins can be forgiven. So if you haven't made that choice yet to follow Jesus and become a Christian like Kurt shared in that video today, you can make that choice today. Let me pray for you before we go. Jesus, I thank you so much for every kid who is joining us for church today. I thank you that you made them with feelings and that you love them. Help us to talk to you about how we feel no matter what. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. Remember the one thing we want you to walk away knowing today. Talk to God about how you feel no matter what. We'll see you next time. Bye.